Hi everybody, it's Julie and I have my large ephemera holder and we are going to start with our side border tucks today. So um, while we were watching one of the really long videos, I went through and I got a bunch of the scrappy bases are, are ready. Okay, so this is the one that we did in the live video. And then I have these and look, I found pages that had, some of them have no writing, some of them have just a little bit of writing because I want my border tuck to, to have um, journaling space. Okay, so that's just my preference. Remember, we are making eight to 12 of these. And so I think I'd still need a couple more. So here is one. And what I found in this book is that there were, um, like there's chapters, but then there's also bigger chapters or mainer, <laughs> like quarterly places in the journal. And those had the good pages. So, okay, well, of course, not going to be able to find any now. Okay, so we'll just go ahead. Okay, so remember we are making 8 to 12 of these. And so, remember, it doesn't have to have the center. So this is um, a nine inch book here. I'm going to go ahead and I want this to be strong. So I am going to clean it up. Can go ahead and use a cutter. And of course I took the <laughs> I took the glue in the kitchen to work on the um, garden journal. Did you all see that? I um, For Easter, I went ahead and got some seeds. Uh, I have them s soaking overnight. Okay, so there, that will give me a nice thick piece. Okay. Now, if you're using book pages, um, as your, the backing for your glue or for uh, distressing and things like that, you can use those pages like this. Instead of folding them in half this way, you can go ahead and fold them in half, um, this way and then put your glue on it. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so we do need this one. Okay, and I'm gonna make this one. Oh, let's go this way. And I'm um, using the bottom as where I'm going to even it. And so, you know what I'm gonna do with this one? I'm going to bring this back. Okay, now you can do all of, all 8 to 12 can be done exactly the same. And if you are looking for doing this quickly, that is how I would do it. Okay, so, but I'm going to show you a couple other ways of doing this. Um, I would probably only do a couple different ones. For this time, for this time, for the challenge, just because you're making so many, okay? But this, you see this? Now I have a pocket, a packet. <laughs> I have a pocket, and I have a tuck, okay? So I'll have a pocket and a tuck, a pocket and a tuck, okay? A tuck and a tuck, okay? So these two are different. And then these ones open. And you know what? This one had writing in it. So let's go ahead and 
Let's turn this one into a pucket also. But we're going to clean up that edge because um, you don't want it to have something that it's going to catch on. Okay. So this one is the one that we made in the live video. So I will put the live video and the video for the large ephemera holder. Those will be um, at the end of this video. So if you want to crash course on making your scrappy bases, which is part two of this um, challenge that we're doing for April, the all about that base challenge. Okay, so that one is ready. So we need to pull out, this is my box of scraps and actually it needs to go into a bigger box. Um, as you can see, we have all kinds of things in here that can be used. There are just regular scraps. There are, um, I don't know why these are in here. These are, these are actual <laughs> journal pages. <laughs> Oops. That happens though sometimes because these were out on the, on the kitchen table. So that's probably what happens. Then I have all these ones down here as well. And um, so let's go ahead and I'm going to put these here. And I just, so that we have some things that are a little different. Okay, remember we're trying to stick with items that are, oh, these are from that math, that math book from the 50s can use uh, scrapbook papers. This is a uh, digital dictionary. I have lots of these sides from those maps. There's a corner from a calendar page. Okay, and then there's those. There's some avocado dyed paper, some more from a highlights magazine, just the pages that were left after I did other stuff. There's some things that I actually did cut up and some dictionary pages. So crossword puzzle, there's some postage, a receipt. The part of a pillow. Those can go up there. Oh, I did finally find the tickets, by the way. I don't know if I've already told you that. Okay. So, I just want a variety of um, papers. And a, I want a variety of colors for mine. We are to be neutral. That's coffee dyed graph paper right there. There's some ledger paper from, you know, we'll save that. <laughs> We'll save that because it's kind of thick. Another. And. Oh, there's a bag, but we'll keep that because the bag is still intact. Okay. So we'll put that over there because apparently it wants to be there. Um, and there's that. Okay. So we are going to add at least three items. And this is my side border tuck. Now, some of them I'm going to want to be, you know, to be on this side. So they open from this side and I can glue it on the back from there and it can open like this. Some I'm going to want so they open like this. Okay. So that's, that's what we've got going on here. So, um, go ahead and then we're going to go ahead and just start grabbing some pieces and putting them down. I think, yeah, I found, I found some, um, I found a little jar that had glue sticks in it. 
Okay. Okay, so we can go ahead and put this down. If, if you are concerned, you can go ahead and, of course, um, I'm going to put this right here because it will cover up those letters, those right there, but, you know, maybe we can still have, okay, ooh, I think this would be kind of cool over here on this side, and, okay, and you see I'm just putting those pieces back in, ooh, I like, I like the side, I like the side with the blue, okay. So this is um, from, it's scraps from when I made the kits for the little golden books. Let me know if you'd like to, to do um, the little golden books again. We did that last year as part of the Beginner's Junk Journal series. So I did a full series of Beginner Junk Journals. Okay, we made six different types of journals while we were home, safer at home at the very beginning. So I believe they started like on March 20th or something of last year. And we did them through a good part of the summer until I just got really tired and I couldn't do two videos every day because we were doing that. Um, and then on the weekdays, on the weekdays we had that. And, um, and then we also still had our regular kind of a cool piece of paper and something like this we could still you could go ahead and write on that okay oh but look at there's there's writing room down here we don't even need to okay so um and I know that some of you collaging is not your favorite thing but what a great way to use up scraps. Just use up those scraps. That's going to go on there. I think that's going to be amazing. Um, I have this here. It, I didn't like the saying personally. Um, so I went ahead and I ripped it up. As I was saying all last week, it's my prerogative. Yeah, I I didn't like the saying, so <laughs> so I ripped it up. And oh, look at up here we have 107 Algeria, or we have 108 Union Union of South Africa. So these were map pages from an atlas that I had. Okay, and then we can take this piece and we can add it right here. Okay, and we have this and it will open. Okay, so when it comes time to adding color, we might add like um, I just put in the, well, well, anyway, I just put a branding strip. So you might put a branding strip here that is going to match. Okay. So again, we are going to, oh, look at this one. So this one has, um, it doesn't, it doesn't need a whole lot of, of color and stuff but you have to add at least three things okay so at least three items um, one of the things we found that uh, some people that don't like to to um, collage was if you if you use larger pieces it goes faster duh because um, that was I got that correction because <laughs> I was complaining that it was taking me so long to make uh, when I was doing Roxy's uh, challenge a few weeks ago, and I was like, wow, I'm so slow. And somebody mentioned that if you use bigger pieces, it goes much faster. And I was like, oh, well, that makes sense. So now when we can, 
we'll use bigger pieces. So let's see, how about we do from, from this side, we have Blend, Blender, Bless, Blessed. Oh, no, we're saving that. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, Blessed, Blessed. We'll save that. Ooh, check this out. Binary numbers. Roman numerals. See, I, I have a... I like, I like the things, so... Sometimes it gets me in. Okay, here we go. So this is out of my little dictionary. I love my little dictionary. Uh, I don't need the word. Corporate. Okay. And I'm going to end up covering these with other things. So I don't know why it bothers me so much, but... For some reason, that bothered me. Okay, so there we go. And technically, that's already all covered, but um, I do want to so how small is too small? I don't think I need to save those. There's no, they're just white <laughs> papers. Okay. So you guys, today um, I was I was really tired, so I went in and laid down um, after I got to the video and everything all ready and up for today. I went in and laid down, and I had the door open so the dogs could come in, and they came in and jumped up on the bed, and next thing I know, even Wiley was up on the bed. So that that's huge that was huge and really cool amazing anyway i think that that's good enough i have my three things that's white here i'm going with that and so with that you can see that that gives you permission also okay so this one i'm going to do with the side here now remember when it comes time to put it in if i don't need this i can always go ahead and glue it then okay i'm checking to see how we are here we've got um we have this page and it's got the words like cottage and things like that so i think we'll go with this on this side so tell me what you think. Larger pieces of collage and being able to, to get it done. So we have these, these trees. I'm still going to consider those as um, neutral. And remember that we're going to be able to use these in future journals not just in the the one that we're making because you actually only have to have um, one of each of these items these elements decorated and in, in your um, in your journal so I think that that's going to be kind of cool I'm going to go with this Okay, and go with okay, I'm going to cut down a little bit of this and this is different color than uh, my book page so I can come back in and also use this on my edges so, which I think is one of the fun things about adding okay so all different kinds of papers I have pieces from calendars from dictionaries um, I just have saved so many scraps okay 
And of course, they are all similar right now because they're from the same area of my scrap box. There's a piece of a calendar where I cut out the inside piece to use it on something. So what if we come down here and put it down here? I think that's better. Also have this and that was cut off from cleaning up that edge okay the other thing is I know that I may come in and have to trim this down to fit it in um, and so I am okay and prepared for that. So, okay. And just want a little something for up at the top. I was thinking maybe a piece of the, um, the music. Oh, here it is. I was thinking put a piece of the music up here. Just a little piece. Okay. There we go. Okay, so you can see it takes a few to do this, but not a super long time. And... And then we can either cover this or not. We do have our parchment paper, which I think always makes a great... It's coffee dyed parchment paper. And so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put glue on this whole thing. And then I'm going to put it down and then I'm going to pick up the piece that we don't use and take it and start my next one with the piece, okay? So look at there. Oh, I love that. Okay, so we'll just come over, grab the next one that we're gonna be using, and we'll just put that piece right down, and it's, it's ready, okay? Let me go ahead and Start on our next one. Okay. And again, you can use big pieces, little pieces, however you want to do it. But we are collaging our border side tucks. Eight to 12 of them. And then we're going to decorate one when we get to the part three. And what I'll do is I'm going to do this part, get all my number, my sec, my number twos done. And then we'll do a couple, we'll decorate a couple in each of the number three videos. How does that sound? Okay, so this is some avocado dyed paper, just random avocado dyed paper. And... Remember, you have to have at least three things on each one. Okay, so there's that gives me my three things. And, oh, you know what we've got? We've got, this is from a crossword puzzle book. And 
I'm going, remember this one's going to have the pocket, so I'm going over towards the edge, but not all the way to the edge so that you'll, you'll have that, that look there. And then when we come back and decorate, we have that whole list of items that we can use, including fabric and lace and all those different things that we can come back and add in here. But we have a base, which I think is going to be awesome. And let's see. Go with this little piece of this. Okay, so there's that one. This one is going to be a pocket. Okay, this one is going to open from this side. It will be attached on the three edges and go into the journal. It can either go on this side and be attached or it can go on this side and be attached like this. And then something will be able to go in here. Okay, so there's those. And so we have a good start. There's one, two, three, four. We've got a couple of the pocket ones. So we have a couple pocket ones. We have and they can be different sizes. You see this one is actually smaller. Okay. And then I'm going to show you a couple things that um, you might want to do to them. Just to make this. So, I mean, you can go ahead and take your... something. Okay, remember for this part we're using our scraps that we have. Well, check that out. We can pretty much cover that whole that whole piece right there. I like that. Oops. Okay. Okay, so there's that. And then remember this piece that we had? We had a piece that was... Like this. Ooh, I like it. I think we'll put it there. glued enough. Okay. We can go ahead and add glue to this page. go ahead and glue it. Okay, so like I was saying earlier, if you have your glue page, you can just go ahead and glue that and you have one that is ready. Okay, so you, we have another one that is, another band that is ready. Okay, so we have this other side you see the uh, doily there. Okay, 
this might be kind of fun to have up here. I like that. That's a that's a little bit different. I'm gonna put this one down at the bottom. We're, we're doing good on having these ready. So kind of like the ready ruffles, you'll have a ready border tuck. Okay, there we go. And again, we can make that into a pocket or it can open out. And if we need it to be smaller, then we just cut it down. If it needs to go into a smaller journal, or onto a smaller page in our journal. Okay, so um, let's see. Well, that's the one that's closed. Okay, okay, so one, two, three, four, five. We've got six. We have these two plain ones and we'll just decorate those um, after. I just wanted to show you that you can also use these pages um, to make like a uh, flip-flop for inside your side border tuck. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and you see we folded it in half. I'm going to come over in front of it. To the I, on this one, I'm going to go to the left. Okay, so to the left of my my fold, make sure that I am even up here at the top, and then pull it out to the side. Pull it out to the side. Okay, and that's going to give me that. Now I have this area right here, and so you might want to cover that. It's going to be totally up to you. Um, I'm thinking dictionary or or this. Okay. Oh, I should have just left that on there. Okay. Um, okay, what I'm thinking here, just to be different and because I love pockets and I cannot lie, I grab is is there a scrap that I can use? I want to clean the top of the fabric tack off. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn this into a little pocket. And yes, this is part of decorating, but I just trying to add more interest to the video since you're here watching okay so this is going to go ahead and go right down there it covers up those words okay covers up those words and um and then there will be a place that we can put a little something right in there i love it okay so um what we can do with this is we can bring this over and put this inside this, okay? Um, now you might want to go ahead and also cover 
the top up here. And you know what I'm gonna you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead well over here I'm gonna put my my glue here. And then here I'm gonna put my glue here. And then over here I'm gonna put my glue on the what I'm gonna be putting down. Okay, and then I'm gonna come over here and it's gonna go across the top, even though it's raggedy. Okay, so I have my edge here. That's what I'm gonna put down. Okay, I want the middle of this page in the middle and then I'm going to come over and it will land on the side over here. All this will go down. This goes down. I can either leave this as a tab, um, depending on what side it's going to go on. So I'm going to leave it on there for right now because if it goes off this side of the journal, then we can use that as a tab. And what we've done is we have created a top tuck here, a top tuck here. We've covered the words, which is a thing that I like to do. It may not be a big deal to you. And then we're going to go ahead and see, I should have done a regular flip flop, which we can still do. Okay. So um, instead of doing the flip-flop where this flops with this, because I want this to lay in here, okay, because I don't want to lose the that over there, this. Um, oh, look at we've got words on this side too. Again, might not bother you. It's a, it's just a me thing, probably. What if, what if, what if, what if, what if? We're going to go ahead and add a paper here, a stack of note right there. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and make sure that that pulls over, um, add some glue along this edge that this little gutter okay we need to fold this okay then we need to put this in inside here okay so what we've done okay is we have our the main part that we had to make, okay? Look at the um, the little edge from from this, okay? This is not in the middle. How did that happen? It's just because there's so much. Okay. So this should be in right in the crease. Okay, now we have added all this extra space and we have our little flip up here. We can write here, we can write on, there's so many places we can write. And we have our little spaces right here. Okay, so that is ready for a journal. I love it. Okay. Um, again, this is ready just as it is. This one, um, we, when you have the white space, if you want to, you can go ahead and just cover and leave the white space. But of course, doesn't it look better when it's got something going all the way down? I think it, it actually does. Do you see there? There's the word snippet. <laughs> we'll put that up there. Okay. So you need a total of 8 to 12 of these. 
that are ready and then I'm using my large ephemera holder to hold these and keep these until I'm ready for part three. Um, this right here, you could consider that part three, but if you are using your scraps to do it, go ahead and do it in this part two. And one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on time-lapse and I'll finish so that I'm done with my eight. Okay, so I got the other two made. These are just, they're just the bands, okay? So just the side tuck with no extra pocket or anything. And you can see I used some of that ad, some of the cro crossword puzzle book, some of the math book on each of them some of the music wrapping paper, a little bit of the avocado dyed paper scraps, and some of this sewing pattern, as well as some of the atlas. Okay, so that gives me two of those. I have two of the pocket ones. I love these. I think the pocket ones are really cool. I have one with the flip-flop inside of it ready to be put into the journal. And then I have a couple of other, so three more, that are also ready to go into the journal. And again, we can go ahead and that piece that we've been using to glue, go ahead and Might as well have it ready, okay? So, um, can go ahead and start another pile of, or a place for the items that are ready to be ready for next time, okay? So there's, there's that. Clean up that edge and I can put it in here with those in my okay grab our large ephemeral holder I did want to show you I did go ahead and I put all those pieces from the cut aparts I put them in one of the pockets also. So, cause there was a place for them. So these have their place and in mine, they're going in this belly band here that has the, there's a belly band on top to keep it from going down into the center as well as it has room. And there we go. So we have finished our side border tucks side border tucks so and they are ready for us in the large ephemera holder again the video for this is right up there as well as in the description box down below i also have the live video that shows you several of my quick ideas so you could get you could get started on your scrappy book page elements. Remember that first we are making our journal. So part one is the naked journal, then part two is the collaged eight to twelve collaged bases, and then part three we're decorating one of each. So I'm looking forward to all of that, and I'm looking forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.